Hello everyone, welcome back out here today to Valdeboa and we're going to be going after a trophy Ibex. Now we have with us the reverse draw crossbow, so if we get anything within 120 meters, we'll definitely be using this to take them out. But if we happen to spot a trophy, we're talking like 250 plus, and he's out there at 150, 160, maybe even 180 meters, we're going to bust out the Parker Python and we'll be able to take all the way up to a 200 meter shot with the Parker Python. And if we find any medium sized males, we'll probably try and take them out with a 10 millimeter pistol. Now, we chose the Ibex because, well, they're pretty fun to hunt. And actually, they were one of the coolest animals to hunt with uh, big horns until the big horn sheep came out. And in my opinion, they're a little bit easier to find than the big horn sheep. All right, so we're spawned at my favorite spot to hunt Ibex, and I'll show you. We're actually right on the bottom of this mountain right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to work our way up to the top. And we can always hear male usually here and over here and over here. So basically once we get to the top of this mountain, we have a 360 degree view of all this mountain. Now we really want to get a 250 plus Ibex. The one we have mounted on the wall right now, I believe is a 259. So he's basically 260. It's going to be pretty tough to beat that, but we'll see what we can do. Also, the reason we have the Parker Python with us is because I actually shot the biggest 274 scoring Alpine Ibex with this Parker Python pretty much in this exact location. So, we'll see. Maybe it'll give us a little bit of luck. And that shot was about 125 meters. And he was hit pretty solid. But at that time, I had no way of getting up this mountain. And now we actually have a tent here, so that will come in very handy if we do happen to hit a big one up here. Alright guys, we just found an awesome Ibex. I don't think he's going to be like a 260s or anything, but not a bad start. Big Ibex coming right to the mountain, and we're sitting right at the mountain. So he's going to come right to us. Now what we're going to do, we have our crossbow loaded up. We also have our Parker Python. So we're going to go prone and get as close to the edge as we possibly can. Now first we're going to check the wind here real quick. The wind is kind of blowing right at him. So you can see we got him right there at 150. I think we might try and take a shot on him. But he might keep coming a little closer so we should probably just let that happen. He's about 100 meters. He's 118 right there. Alright so we got him at 118. The wind's pushing a bit to the left. We should be able to put a hit on him. See the wind push quite a bit to the left. Actually we missed him way left. And he just bolted. He actually saw us from way up here on this mountain. Alright guys, we just tracked down our mail and he called right here. So we got him within about a hundred meters of us and the wind is actually blowing right in our face so we have a perfect wind now all we gotta do is get to a spot where we can see them and we'll be in a pretty good position so he's right down there oh my god he's right there oh my god <sighs> drilled him I actually wanted to pull out the recurve, but we had no time to even think about getting the recurve set up. He was so close. We barely even got a shot on him with the reverse draw. But at least we put a solid one in him, and there he is running right there. That was pretty awesome. Oh my god, he's right there. Oh my god. <sighs> Drilled him. So let's just watch him a little bit and we'll see where he last is right there you can just barely see him walking out of render yeah we got lung and heart so he shouldn't go too far at all and he's down right there big ol' ibex down just like that 
Oh, we missed him the first shot. He actually looks a little bit bigger now that we're getting closer to him. I don't know if it's just because we pulled out the binoculars, but he looks like his bases are huge. He might go 250s. Let's see what he scores. Alright, so we hit him in the skull and right lung, and he scores 226.8. Yeah, so I had a feeling he wasn't that big because even though he does have big bases, the main beams on him don't go back far enough. To get 250, 260 plus, they have to go all the way back to basically the hind quarter. He's still an awesome Ibex and the first trophy of the hunt so far. So not bad at all. Alright, pretty cool. I don't think we're quite going to get him mounted yet. Because we're probably going to be able to find a bigger one. But you never know. If we don't, we could always get him out in the end. Alright guys, well we got an Ibex out here. He's not a monster. He's like a 160s probably. But he's... Thought I heard some fighting. Alright, but anyways, we're going to take this one now. He's at about 100 meters away. We got the 10mm pistol here, so we should be able to put a good hit on him. Maybe not. Gotta get up a little bit higher. Where are we even hitting? There. So I'm not sure if we are shooting low or what was going on. But we definitely got him. One of the four shots that we took at him. And we have a really heavy Ibex track right here. 80 to 115. And that's about as heavy as the tracks could probably get. So we shot this male Ibex here. That way we'll be able to not get confused when we're tracking this one. Even though this one wasn't too far away. Alright, let's pick him up. Oh, we did hit him the first shot. So we actually shot him in the spine. That's why I just stayed there the whole time. Okay. He scores 166, so not tiny. Alright, well we were just tracking a pretty heavy Ibex track and unfortunately it led us to this guy here. Looks like a 160, 170s. And he's out there probably close to 180, 190 meters out. Or 202. So let's see if we can't hit him with the 10 millimeter pistol. I think we actually hit him. First shot we took. He looks pretty hit. It's hard to tell. Yeah, he definitely looks pretty hit. Let's see if we can't hit him again. Got him. Alright, we should have... Yeah, look at that. He just piled right up. 203 meters with a 10 millimeter pistol. And he is stone cold dead. Only problem is, he's sort of on that mountain. All right, so let's let's mark him. Yep, 202 meters with a 10 millimeter pistol. He actually probably would have died with the first shot, but sometimes you never know. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run out of render distance, and he should fall back down that mountain. So basically we're holding it about a foot above him, six inches to a foot, and that's how much drop there was at 200 meters. Alright, so we should be good now. He should pop back into redder distance, and hopefully we can find him. Yep, and there he goes. You can see him sliding down the hill. 
right there right down to the bottom perfect all right pretty cool here he is down right here let's take a look at him and see if we can't figure out where we actually did hit him and how many times I don't see any holes but this is not the side we shot we actually shot the other side so let's pick him up 202.9 we actually hit him the first shot at 209.6 meters and that probably would have killed them I'm not a hundred percent sure a lot of times if you shoot past like 180 meters you're probably just gonna get body and it might not die but then we hit him again at 202.7 meters and he went right down so that was pretty cool wound time of only 34.3 seconds and that's the farthest shot I've ever made with the 10 millimeter pistol So we'll definitely take a trophy shot of him because that was just a crazy shot. Pretty awesome. Alright guys, we just found another big Ibex. This one looks to be maybe a 240s, 250s. We got him out here quite a ways away, but we're going to check the wind real quick. We got an absolute perfect wind. So let's see how far away this Ibex is. He is about 180 out there. You can just barely see his rack right there. But that's enough to be able to put a shot on him. So let's go for it. So we're looking at about 180 out there. Perfect wind. Oh, the wind pushed it to the left quite a bit actually. So let's see how far away we were from that shot. We're pretty centered. We just hit a little bit left still. For some reason we're shooting left. That's money. I don't know where we hit, but I thought we hit him. Hit low again. That's money. Got him! Yep. Got ourselves a hit Ibex. Not really sure which way he went. But I'm going to say that's going to be probably the furthest shot I've made with the Parker Python on anything. Well, except for the brown bear. So let's get him marked. He was right there, about 176 meters out. It took about 10 or 12 shots, but eventually we did hit him. So for now, we'll give him a little bit of time to lay down, and we'll sneak up here to the top of this hill. We only have two more arrows left in this, but then we have our reverse draw, so we have a few more arrows here too. Alright guys, so it's been about 15 game minutes now, and we just popped over here where we last saw that big Ibex, and there he is down right there. You can see the tracer sticking out of him. Pretty cool. Now we just got to go down there and go pick him up. Of course we have an Ibex column when we're halfway down the mountain. Can't really tell where it is. It's probably a female, so we're not really too worried about it. And the big one's down right here anyway, so that's a good thing. And here is our big Ibex. So let's look. We were shooting 175 meters at him. He's got some pretty good mass, and look at how far back the curls go on him. He's going to be a pretty solid Ibex. So let's see what he scores. Shot him at 176.1 meters. And he scores 221.7. So still not quite what we're looking for. But it's not too bad. And considering it's the furthest shot that I've ever made on an Ibex with the Parker Python. So I think that might be the end of this video. I'm not sure. We might get lucky like the Red Deer Hunt and possibly find a big 250 plus Ibex down here. 
All right, guys, we just found a big ibex. We're over here by the South Lodge, and we got a big male ibex right there. That should be a pretty solid ibex. We got a perfect wind. We luckily just loaded up with some new tracer arrows, so we should be able to take out this big ibex here. I'm hoping he's going to be a trophy. All right, so let's get a... Oh, they're fighting. I think that one has a little bit more of advantage because he's like four times as big. But he's out there at 144 meters, guys. And like I said, we have a pretty awesome wind. Oh, not the best, but pretty good. So we're going to get ready and take a shot on this guy. I think we shot a little bit high. Yeah, we shot high. That should be money. Oh, we shot right in front of him. See, we're shooting way right now. The wind switched. Looks like they're going to fight again. Yeah, the wind's pushing right. We need to get left. We need to get quite a bit left. So where are they at? Oh, no, they're still right there. But this thing definitely has some pretty good curls on them. Let's see if we can get an estimate. We got 150 to 255 on him. But I'm going to say he's probably going to be about 240s. Hopefully. Alright, so we should have perfect wind right now. And we got him out here at 130. We're going to try for a shot with the reverse draw crossbow. God! Oh, I thought we hit him. I don't even know where we hit. Oh, we shot just over his spine. Like literally half an inch over his spine. Luckily, they're fighting right now. It should give us a chance to reload. And hopefully, they don't see us. All right, we got one shot left in this. Let's make it happen. Got him. Gut shot him, but definitely a solid hit. That was pretty cool. We took him while he was fighting with the smaller one. There he is up there. He's running up on top of this mountain. We're going to kind of keep an eye on him here. He should run over somewhere over this direction and go lay down. Got some fleeing blood right here. And there he is. Looks like we hit just a little bit far back. Look at that. He just went right down. Pretty awesome. Alright, so we just had to spook him back. That way he didn't fall down this cliff. Because if he fell down this cliff... There's no way we're getting him back. But luckily we chased him and he ran back this way. And here he is down right here. Alright, he's down. Let's see what he scores. Hit about 120.2 meters. And he scores 239.3. So he's the biggest of the three. But he's still not 250 plus. But for now... He's definitely going to be the end of this hunt. You can see we hit him a little bit far back in the hind quarter there. But it was pretty cool because we actually shot him while he was fighting with the other one. Alright, we got one shot left in this. Let's make it happen. Alright, well that looks pretty cool. And he doesn't quite score 250 plus, but he's close enough. And I'm very happy to have them. Sometimes you don't always get the biggest ones. And you just got to take what you can get. 
And we ended up getting three trophy Ibex. Well, not trophies, but they're pretty good ones. So, I think we're going to get them mounted and go head over to the trophy lodge and go take a look. Alright guys, here we are back at the trophy lodge. And actually, this is just one of the classic lodges that we have available. We have plenty of space in here. As you can see, there's only one buck there and nothing over here on the wall. But over here, we have a 160 bighorn sheep. And here we have our 239 Ibex. So we put them here, and it's a pretty good fit. I would really like to get a bigger one eventually, and I'm sure we will. But for now, we're going to keep him here as our trophy Ibex. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.